Hi, how's it going everybody? I'm Bad Chillings, also known as Chad Billings, and I'll be your host today. And we are gonna go over my bike packing setup, what's inside the bags, what I chose and why, and let's get started. So in my last video, I went over my bag setup on my bike, and I can go through that real quick before we get started. So again, I have my Topeak backloader, Moose Treks frame bag, Topeak top loader, Moose Treks frame or the feed bag, and then I have two Topeak Versa cages on the side of my forks, and I have five liter dry bags for each side. And then on my Surly 8 pack rack, I have a 8 liter, or no, actually it's a 10 liter dry bag that will be going on there. So let's look inside and see what's in the bags. All right, we'll start over here on the left side. And I have all my food set up. Then I have cooking gear, toiletries, water. And then on the far side, I have my clothes set up. And then I have another table over there with my sleep set up and other bike related gear. All right, so this trip I'm going on is going to be a three day, two night trip. So starting off with the breakfast, I have about two cups of granola. I'm gonna eat about a cup for my two breakfasts. And in that, I am going to put some of this almond butter that has chia, hemp, goji, and wakuma, whatever that is, it sounds good. So I'm gonna squirt some of that in there and then put some hot water in with the granola. So that should be pretty filling. And then I have a couple teas that I'll eat in the morning or drink in the morning. It'd be hard to eat tea. And then I have a couple lunches set up. So I have a yellowfin tuna, then a pink salmon, and then I'm gonna put some hot sauce, some chips, and then I'm gonna bring a block of cheese. I'll put some cheese in there, and then I brought some tortillas. So that'll make a nice little wrap for lunch. And then I have several different snacks. We have sport beans, honey waffles, honey steamer waffles, some goo. I can always squirt some more almond butter in my mouth whenever I need a little quick burst of energy. Some Baby Ruth candy bars. I like them because they have a little protein, fats, chocolate. Some little high chewy, high chew gummies. Nice to chew on. Tastes pretty good. And then. I put a bunch of trail mix in here. It's probably two and a half, three cups of trail mix. Custom mix, baby. And then moving on down to the dinners, I have a couple freeze-dried dinners. I have the classic spaghetti. That's one of my favorites. And then I have the chicken teriyaki. Always a good one. And then I'll probably squirt, squirt some hot sauce in those. You can never have enough hot sauce. You know, spice things up a little bit. Then I have a couple different drink mixes, you know, replace those electrolytes. And then always got to have a good dessert at the end of the day. I have some strawberry crumble oat bars and a pop tart for the last dinner because that has like over 300 calories. So that'll be good to refuel my body. Then we'll move on down to the next section. All right, moving on down to the, my cook system. Start off with my Ollie Camp 32 ounce cooking pot. Some people like smaller ones. I like this bigger one because I can boil water for two people or boil water for a drink or two and my dinner. And it has the little fins on the bottom so it boils water a little faster. And uh, that's that. And then I have my GSI mug. It's insulated, keeps drinks nice and warm a little longer. And then for my stove, I have the tried and true MSR Pocket Rocket. 
This thing's never let me down. Boils water super quick. I like that a lot. Then I have the small fuel. It should last several days. For utensil, I have Optimus Titanium Spoon. Super long, super light. It can get down to the bottom of the bags. That's a good one. Then I have my toiletries. I have a pick flosser. Then I have a toothbrush head from one of my electric toothbrushes. That works out perfect. Roll of toilet paper. And then for toothpaste, one of the tricks I like to do is get a little square of tin foil, sprinkle some baking soda, and then put however many globs of toothpaste you need. A little bit more baking soda on top of that, then you fold it up, and then you got little little toothpaste balls for each day that you need toothpaste. And we all know when we go out into the wilderness, everybody poops. And we want to practice leave no trace, so you want to walk pretty far out off the trail, and then you want to dig a hole, and then you want to bury your poop so nobody sees it, nobody steps on it, and toilet paper too. Nobody wants to see that stuff, so please bury it. Then I have a little baggie of some ibuprofen because when you're riding bikes days on end, you're going to get sore, and a couple of those in the morning really helps me out. Then we have some sunscreen, a lighter, always good to bring a lighter, some matches, at least one or two to three ways of starting a fire, especially if it's going to be cold. Over here we have headlamp, bringing extra batteries isn't a bad idea. And then I like these little tea candles. They're super small, super lightweight, it can give your hands a little bit of warmth and it's a nice backup light. So those are nice to have. Then I have some straps, always good strapping stuff down. And next we'll move on down to some clothes and water. All right, so for water, we have a couple small, smart water bottles. And then we have a Sawyer Squeeze water filter. And I used to use a Katadyne Backpacker or Hiker Pro, and that worked out really well for me, but this is smaller, lighter, so I'm gonna give this a try. And if nobody's ever seen these, I'm sure most of you have, but I'll go over it real quick. So pretty much I, I have a, another bladder that hasn't came in the mail yet. It's a CNOG bladder that you will collect your dirty water with, screw it on top, and then you'll push all that water through. This is the clean water side. And you can either hook this directly up to your water bottles, or you can connect this little adapter, and then I can connect it directly to my Camelback. So on our trip, we're gonna have a, a few places to get water, but we're gonna try to ride with around four to five liters of water just to be safe have a little first aid kit that's fairly large but you can kind of form it where you need it to go but it's pretty lightweight always good to have you know band-aids ty different types of wraps tape i have some medicine some ointment other things in here you can kind of make your own first aid kit with what items you think you need for, we'll start off with the base layers. I have a synthetic cotton blend, mostly synthetic. It is a bottom layer, top layer, and I'm only going to wear these at camp when I'm sleeping so I don't get my sleeping bag and everything all dirty. Then I have some camp socks, some fresh camp underwear, lightweight top and a lightweight bottom so those will be my camp clothes to get out of let my riding gear dry off then i have two chamois 
I'm gonna switch off with them first day, second day, third day. There's that. Then I have a Patagonia Nano Puff. It's a nice insulation, synthetic insulation layer. Packs up pretty small, keeps me pretty warm. Then for my riding gear, I have some wool socks. Those will go three days, no problem. Then I have riding jersey and riding shorts. So that's all the clothes I am bringing. Oh, for, almost forgot my beanie for camp. Cold at night, that'll keep my head nice and warm. All right, let's move on down. All right, moving on down to some more riding gear. We'll start off first with some shoes. My riding shoes are some Ride Concepts Live Wires. I like these shoes a lot so far. Had them for a little over a year. Fairly comfortable. I like the tread on the bottom. It has a bunch of hexagon shaped treads that seem to grip the pedals really good. And there's not much wear on them either. These things seem pretty durable. But yeah, give those rides concepts a try. Another feature I like of these is the little strap right here. You can tuck your shoelaces in there so they're not getting caught up in your chain and all that. Then well, I'll start with my other shoes over here. We have some old Sanook camp shoes. These would be perfect. They're lightweight. They're all worn down. Makes them even more lightweight. So I'm saving weight right there. They even have a little pocket. Hide some stuff in there if you want. Then we have my helmet, which is a Gyro Radix. This is one of the most adjustable, comfortable helmets I've ever had. Only thing I don't like about it is about maybe a month after having it, the stickers fell off the back. And instead of saying Radix, it now says Ardix. So, got an Ardix helmet now. Then for glasses, I have some X Tigers. They're cheaper Amazon glasses, but they work great. Came with three lenses. Right now it has the mirrored lens on there. Also came with the clear lens and a normal dark lens. Also came with replaceable ear pieces, two in a soft bag, a little cloth and a hard case. So give those X Tigers a look. Moving on to my camp chair. This is a Thermarest camp chair, I think it's called. So I, it works with the Thermarest pads, but I tried it out with my climate pad and it still works. Gives you some back support. Your uh, sleeping pad just kind of folds up in there get you off the ground. Just make sure you're not on any thorns or anything because you don't want to be popping your sleeping pad. For my tent, I have a Nature Hike Cloud Up 1. It reminds me a lot of the Big Agnes tents, but there is a little bit of a weight penalty and the materials probably aren't as good, but for the price, can't go wrong with this. So I think with the whole tent setup, I think it's somewhere around three pounds. So that's a pretty good weight. Have the tent poles fairly short. Tent body, rain fly, the ground tarp, and stakes. Then we have my sleeping pad. It is a climate insulated static V-Light. Super comfortable, super warm. I, I like how it's fairly quiet. It has the little pillows of air on the side that are a little bit higher than this, the center pillows. It kind of helps keep you centered in the pad at night. Pretty, pretty small, pretty light, like that one. For my tent, I have a REI Lumen 20, little compressible, fairly lightweight, keeps me warm, big enough where I can move around and be comfortable at night, like that, sleeping bag. For my pillow, I have a Trekology pillow I got off Amazon, 
fairly light. Tried it out in my house. It was really comfortable, so I'm excited to try that out. And we'll move on down to my toolkit. Moving on to my bicycle toolkit. One of my favorite pumps, I have them on a couple of my bikes, is the Mini Morph bicycle pump. I really love it because it has the disconnectable filler hose. It has a little, it's hard to do this with one hand. Woo! It has a little step that flips out so then you can prop it up and pump away. So yeah, give that Topeak Mini Morph a look. Big zip ties, little zip ties, one of my favorite tools, Topeak Hexus. They do make smaller, lighter tools, but I like this one because all the Allen, Allen hex keys are fairly long. I've ran into some of these tools have really short keys on them, and it doesn't work on some of my frames. So I like this one. It's got a good chain tool, has two bicycle tire levers on the side. Then I have a new tool I'm trying out. It's a it's another Topeak tool. It's some tire levers, but it also has a chain link breaker, which is nice for the quick links like that. So there's a quick link. Have some park super patches, duct tape, a tire boot if you get a big rip in the sidewall of your tire some little velcro straps a little wrench for your valve stems some thread and needle some little wire and then in this patch kit it's a normal patch part patch kit but i also put some bait um what do they call them bacon strips so you can plug plug a hole in your tire, your tubeless tire, if you, your sealant won't seal it up. And a rag for cleaning off your chain or other parts. And my favorite bicycle lube is squirt chain lube. It's more of a wax-based lube and seems to last a long time. And it doesn't get very dirty that quick on your chain. And I was kind of going back and forth between bringing a 3-inch wide by 29 tube but that's pretty heavy, so I think I'll just get away with a backup normal 29 tube. And this is my tool roll. Tool, tool roll. It is an Osprey, Osprey tool roll. It's called Osprey, but I like to call it Ospy. I don't know why. But yeah, that's my tool kit. Anything you guys would add to it, let me know. All right, that's about it for my bike packing setup. Is there anything you guys would add or take away? Let me know in the comments section below. Hope you guys have a good day, and I hope I have a good trip. I'll check in with you guys when I get back and let you know how everything worked out. Thanks. Bye.